here, man. What you doing? I'm swinging for a test, Matthew. <laughs> really? Uh, I progress you for drinking an energy drink. Yeah, what up? It excites your entire body, and that includes the neurons in your cell, which uh, helps you remember things. Oh, really? I should drink energy drinks more often, then. Well, you should probably cut down. Um, you, it really helps. Actually, it's better to uh, study it in a naturally excited state, because you need to replicate the state to remember things that are just easily it. And uh, overstimulation can have a loss of, can actually prevent you from remembering what you, what you study. And so does the effects of, say, depressants like alcohol, because it prevents them firing the neurons. Depressants? Well, it's not like I'm gonna feel drunk. Well, you never know. Oh, and that reminds me of something. When you enter a state, there's a, there's a, you can forget what you learned while out of that state. How so? As discussed in the video, state-dependent learning is the notion that learning and recalling information is based on the physiological state of the learner. So, when Jeremiah was drinking his energy drink, he was putting his body in a different chemical state, allowing him to retain the information he was studying better. However, again, as discussed in the video, Jeremiah will only be able to retain the information he studied while in the same chemical state. If he doesn't have an energy drink in his system the next day, it will be harder for him to remember what he learned since he doesn't have the same chemical state. Additionally, since Jeremiah entered a different chemical state, he may not be able to recall information given to him before the change occurred. This is more easily noticed with things like drugs or alcohol. Any information obtained before changing your chemical state may be hard or impossible to recall during or afterwards.